All right, guys, uh, I'm not gonna lie, man. A little bittersweet today. These boxes are not mystery boxes, okay? <gasps> Should I tell them? Yeah. All go, right, man. man. We officially sold the crib. Oh, not last just the crib, but the high talk set and everything. Everything. This is our last filming session in this house right here. Oh. Right after we film today, I'm gonna get ready to pack up and move. Should I tell them the second announcement? You gotta let them know. The Me and Jordy are gonna be roommates. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? <laughs> yeah. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna be staying with him for a while. While the new spot, I can't, should, no, do you, just no. A lot of cannonballs. Can <laughs> cannonball. A lot of cannonballs. All right, All right. Well, uh, yeah, so uh, the new spot, I can't tell you exactly, you know, where it is and what we got and everything, but yeah, I will be moving in with Johnny, which will be cool. It'll be during our uh, transition. But yeah, last filming session in the house, man. Sky's ready, though. Sky is ready. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a What's going on everybody? So right now, I just wanted to show you guys a new pickup that I ended up getting. These might be one of the most like low-key hype sneaker releases as of a recent, all right? Let's get these things open. They are the New Balance Ame Leon Door. Hopefully I didn't, you know, butcher that too much. So they dropped in uh, four colors. There was a white and gray, white and forest green, and also a white and navy. I decided to get the white and red. I know a lot of people do not really like this color, but I really like... Ooh, okay, okay. I only saw these like for a second earlier, but I didn't even notice. They got the details down to the cracked New Balance sign to give it that real aged look. But in person, man, I'm going to have to go and say these do not disappoint at all. Let me compare them with the... Yeah, so we got the uh, Louis trainers right here, which are really popular, but these are like, I think retail for the Louis Vuitton trainers are like a thousand. I forgot how much I paid for these. The new balances go for around, I would say the red ones like 220, 250. The other ones are a little bit more hype. The white and green pair goes for over 300. So yeah, you, if you do want that Louis Vuitton trainer look, you're gonna save yourself a ton of money by getting these right here. And the colors are doper in my opinion. Overall, just really cool to touch base with the brand again. And uh, yeah, I would say these are recommended. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys right here are these essential tees that I got from uh, Nike. I know last time we showed you guys some items from Nike. Those things ended up flying off the shelves, especially the sweats. And a lot of you guys ended up getting the sweats and were like, you weren't lying. These things run humongous. I, I'll try to tell you, they run huge. They were like parachutes, but yeah. So we got some Nike Lab Essential t-shirts right here and some really cool colors that I thought were unique. And these are dope because I feel like they're just a little bit more premium than your average Nike t-shirt. They're thicker. The fit is nicer, and then they have uh, obviously the uh, woven Nike sign right here. So retail for these Nike Lab t-shirts is 40 bucks. Really unique in person. This is gonna definitely be dope with, you know, a lot of different color combinations. Nice fall vibe. So yeah, 40 bucks right now. It is available. What else we got? Ooh, so we got kind of like a uh, sky blue. This one, I can, I, can, I can live without this one. You know, not super unique, but it's not terrible, you know. I, I might I might keep this. I might keep this. This one right here I really wanted to check out. You do not see a lot of Nike Lab items in this color right here. Kind of like a light mint. Tiffany fire. 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 This one is definitely a unique color. You do not see every... <sighs> you see the color coming right here. I'm already thinking with the Louis trainers. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys some pickups that I have. I'll leave links down below to the Nike items and a couple other items that I recommend as well. The New Balance Trainer 550s. I would say if you're thinking about them, definitely pull the trigger. A nice breath of fresh air in your rotation. Woo! All right, so these right here. I bring these up every single year from Costco. But the reason why I didn't show you guys last year is because they came out in the wackest colors. They basically had like a royal blue and a green color in huh? wool socks which made totally no sense but this year they came back with their original dark gray super clean and also what's really cool is they actually come out in different sizes now they used to have one size fits all but if you look closely at the packaging it has a size right here on the left side 
So definitely take a look out for these. They are at Costco. Super warm, really great quality. I definitely recommend them and they just add a dope aesthetic to any sneaker. But yeah, I rock these every single winter and last year Costco kind of dropped the ball but they came back with the dark gray. Let's get it. A couple updates. One, if you guys not have done so, make sure you guys check out the tattoo video that we released last week. A lot of good feedback. I just want you guys to watch it because I feel like we dropped so much advice in it. I want you guys to really watch that video. It was one of our most requested videos, so we definitely wanted to do it right for you guys. And also, we are still doing entries on the giveaway in this video right here we did with Tia. Basically, what you have to do is I sold her 15 pairs of sneakers, and you gotta guess within $100 how much the buyout was for, right? Don't Hit up Tia and ask her. She's not gonna tell you. I know, I see, I, she told me a lot of you guys have been DMing her. But yeah, we're gonna be giving away something crazy. You get five entries in the comments, in the video, I'll tell you guys the details and whatnot. But yeah, there's still time to enter that giveaway. All right guys, so I would say over five years ago, okay? Jack in the Box basically shut the game down with these. I have no idea why they ended up taking these off the menu, but let's just say, they are back. Boom, woo! They're a lot smaller than right. I remember. They used to be huge. <laughs> That's the trick though. You make them smaller, people are gonna want more of them. Yeah, look, I'm just happy that they're back. All right, take a bite, man. French man, toast fresh sticks. Toast sticks. Go ahead, I ain't gonna wait on you. I'm sorry, I would normally wait on you guys, but I got I had one the other day, man, so it's all you. Thank it's you, Tan, thank you, Tan. Whoa. Gotta do a little dunkaroo. Look at that. Oh, oh my, God. the crunch was crazy. <laughs> the crunch. This is a very untraditional type wow. of toasting. Sheesh. Nice and crispy on the outside with that little eggy taste and then All the right. inside so mm -hmm. nice and dumb. All right, diet, 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 diet starts. Never. We'll see, we'll see. Ah, your boy just busted my soap here and some bananas, okay? It's starting very, very soon. This is what I'm eating tonight. And look, look, well, look. I'm now. eating this tonight. Eat. Normally, people eat a regular burger to themselves, right? We cut them in portions. We share mm. it. Portion control. We share portion control. We also added a we're, side salad we're, on top. We're the only group of friends that's gonna do family style at Jack in the Box. That's, <laughs> that's for damn sure. <laughs> okay. Today we have an unboxing. Very, very crazy, crazy unboxing. So lately I've been uh, wearing the uh, clogs on my feet. You know, I don't talk much about because uh, not very hype, you know? But uh, today I got something a little more hype. <laughs> yeah, right here, Stussy. Very, very good brand right here, man. Yeah, let's dig right in. <laughs> All right, guys, so basically, I've been wearing the Birkenstocks, the regular ones, uh, pretty frequently, but these ones I had to pick up because they had the Stussy collaboration. Yeah, quite ugly, actually, in person. Um, they, they do not have the metal. Let me go grab the ones I've been rocking. So these ones I rock pretty frequently to run errands and whatnot, but yeah, I never really talk about them. I got these right here to uh, basically, you know, I thought it would be cool to recommend to you guys But I'm not gonna recommend anything that is ugly when I open the box and these are not that cool I'm not gonna lie. The suede is like brown. They, they look more gray in the photos It does have the Stussy icon right here. Let me try them on. Hold on. Maybe they'll look better on foot Okay, so I'm actually taking a look at them. You know what it is. I've got it so with these burger socks, I actually get the narrow ones. And to me, the narrow ones look like a, what a regular sandal should be. So I get the narrow bed for these. And then these are what they consider the regular ones, which in my opinion are too wide. That's why these look, if you guys could see the profile difference, these are way wider than these. So yeah, I'm not really feeling the Stussy ones. I wanted to get them for research purposes. If anybody wants them, hit me up. You can have them for whatever I paid for them. But yeah, I just would rather go with the regular Birkenstocks. Way cleaner in my opinion. All right guys, so right now I'm just chefing up some uh, bacon and eggs. But one thing I gotta bring up to you guys, I know a lot of people have been commenting about this, oh. is the hair lately, guys. I need all the support I could get. I try to grow out my hair every single year and I end up cutting it. But this year, this is the farthest I have gone. Trust me, I got a vision. I just need to see it through, all right? Last time I cut it, a lot of people were like, man, you should have just gave it a few more months. This year, I'm going for it, guys. Just give me a few more months. Trust me, I know the vision look a little shaky right now, but a few more months, gonna be fire, all right? Just, you know, bear with me. 